welcome back. My name's Lori, for those of you that don't know, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me today. I feel a little discombobulated. Um, we had a little bit of snow. It's Monday morning, and Sunday night we had a little bit of snow, and schools were delayed, and I had a doctor's appointment, and we lost electricity, and so I made myself feel better after my doctor's appointment, and I went shopping. And I picked up a bunch of goodies from Profusion. Different palettes, blushes, brows. What's this? Sculpting. And this is the one that I really... I haven't even opened this. I think it's still taped. This is the one I really want to get into. So if um, you want to play with some makeup with me and... Have a cup of coffee. And then stay tuned. Hi guys. Um, I finally got some Christmas decorations going up behind me. We are going to play with Profusion. Um, to be honest, I haven't tried any of the, uh, the newer stuff. This one came from um, Walgreens. It was $5. And I believe the rest of them came from Target. Oh no, this one came from Walgreens too. It was $5. Don't think I have enough for a full face. Um, I couldn't find a foundation or a concealer or anything like that. So what I got was just a bunch of palettes, different palettes, brows. Um, it has a pencil, powder, and a brush in here. So we're gonna open this and some mixed metal lips and nude. I'm not trying to blind you. Then I have blush and highlight and contour. And then when I went to Walgreens, I picked up this one. This one's Sculpt. So what's the difference between these two palettes? Because, I don't know about you, but they look pretty much the same to me. This is the one, really, and truly, I want to play with this one. Let's take the, uh, if I can get it. They don't make these things real easy to get into. But that's what it looks like. Comes with a, a decent brush. And you know how I like a uh, double-sided brush with a flat shader on one side and a blender on the other. I think we can work with it. Products I don't have, such as foundation, concealer, eye primer, all that stuff. I'm just, I'm just going to insert some of my favorites or, um, actually, I think I'm going to insert some of the stuff that I did from my haul video that I haven't tried yet. Um, this is something new that um, I picked up. It's the uh, Wet n Wild, and it says Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadow. But this is in the color, and of course I can't read it. Hold please. This is in the color Camelback, and it is just. A skin tone, I guess eyeshadow, but we're going to use it as a primer today. The thing that caught my eye about this was it was a bunch of different skin tones. And it's matte. Matte gets me every time. I have oily, oily, oily eyelids. And we have all clean brushes. That video should be going up this week. So we have all clean brushes. Okay, now that we have that all blended, I also, while I was out today, looked for another one of these sponges because I've had it for a while, but I absolutely love it. See how it's pointed and it's made by L'Oreal and apparently they're not making these anymore. I don't know why. So if you know something that kind of looks like this, with the, the point edge, please let me know. Wow, and that really dries down matte. I don't even think I have to set it. 
we're gonna try the brush that it came with. It's like so many different colors. Let's try green. Picked up. Not a lot of fallout. We're doing really simple today because I have a lot of stuff to do. As I mentioned, we lost electricity last night. I couldn't wash my dishes. I couldn't do my laundry. You know, all that good stuff that we do at nighttime before we go to bed. So then in the morning we can switch the laundry and then uh, unload the dishwasher and all that good stuff. Or that may be just me, but that's what I do. I thought as we played with makeup, I could answer some of the questions that have been messaged to me. Just a few, nothing major. One, I'm 47 years old, and yes, I'm a grandmother. I think that's the one I get the most. That and, yes, Marilyn is all over my house. I have pictures and posters and books and calendars and glasses and... I don't know everything <laughs> so now I think I'm going to take oh you know what these have names so the first one the first one we used was geode which was this green right here and then now I'm going to go into I can't read it champ and I'm taking the same brush I'm just flipping it over and I'm just dabbing. I'm not digging my brush in. I'm just dabbing. Tapping off the excess. And then we're just going to do the outer third. And that does not show up. Alright, let's see if we can build it up. We're going to tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. I'm trying to keep this mainly on the eyelid because I'm noticing as soon as it touches that green, the sparkles get everywhere. Maybe next time I will use the, uh, the sparkles last. I'm going to take the other end. What is that? Rocker. I'm going to go into this lighter brown color right here called Rocker. And I'm just putting the very tip of my brush in. Now this one has a little bit more fallout. And trying to blending that darker Oh Lord, we're gonna have glitter everywhere. Just trying to blend out the edges and bring it up into where I want my crease to be. But as you all know, I don't have one. Let's go back into this green and blend it a little bit more into this brown. We're just going for it today. I'm back into Nuna. I'm sorry, Rocker. Don't know where my mind was at. And we're gonna deepen up that crease just a tad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. I do that all the time. It's not like something that I just do on camera. I do it all, literally all the time. It drives my husband crazy. Now, we are going into the Profusion Cosmetics Beautiful Brow, and this is in medium to deep. Now, I'm getting ready to bleach my brows. If you want to see how I do that, then let me know in the comments down below. That rhymes. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff in the floor now. 
Okay, we have a brush. We have some powders. And this is this is an eyebrow pencil. And I gotta tell you, I love the littler spoolies like this. I'm just gonna comb these. Again, I am brow challenged. Extremely so, if you can tell. When I just let them down, they just kind of do their own little thing. But here's my mirror here, so we're gonna try to draw a line. I wanna outline them with this pencil and kind of fill it in with the powder. I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm always up for trying some new brow products. Speaking of which, I just got some new brow stuff that I want to try. What do you think? That's my good brow. So now we're going to take, I think I'm gonna take the uh, Espresso. It's kind of like the grayish color. Lots of fallout with these guys. Lots of fallout. And we're just gonna try to fill in these brows. I'm gonna take this Java and just dip it in. And then I'm gonna take the lighter color beside it and kind of blend them together. So I can do something with this here without it looking so dark. The pencil is very, very creamy. Since I don't have um, foundation and concealer and all that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off, off camera and do my other brow. Today, I'm gonna try out the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Foundation and I'm in ivory. I'm hoping this isn't too light for me. I know I'm light because I don't go in the sun, but we'll see. So, I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. Um, I just finished this brow, um, added some, um, some more of the brown, did some eyeliner and popped up on some lashes and did some green in the bottom. The lashes I'm wearing, wait, blah, 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 blah. the lashes I'm wearing are Ardell Faux Mink lashes. Love these. New face. So now let's do the rest of the face because I'm looking kind of pale. Although I am pale. As I mentioned before, I have two of these and I have looked at these and other than maybe one's a little darker than the other, I don't see, let me turn them around here. I don't see any difference. We're gonna go into this color right here. They don't have any names, it's just a cool tone brown. And this is um, Eco Tools. My absolute favorite. Oh wow, look at all that powder. That is really picking up some powder. Oh, okay, I see your perfusion. Oh yeah. Maybe the powder's a good thing. If you have never contoured before, you're probably looking at me going, what in the world is she doing? Don't get excited yet, we're gonna blend. I'm just, this is how. I lose 10 pounds on my face without going to the gym. Uh, so far so good. We're gonna take this one here as our bronzer. That one doesn't have as much fallout. This is a Real Techniques um, tapered, tapered something brush. It's old and it's been washed so many times. And it's all been taken off. We just blending. This is not completely matte, which I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Y'all know how I like a bright under eye. So I'm just, my little, my little wedge. 
matter of fact, I went to the uh, Dollar Tree. It might have been Walgreens. But one of those, and I just got me some new ones. And if you're curious about anything that I used on my face, I will have everything listed in the description bar. We're going to sharpen this up. I have to say, I am liking the perfusion. Okay, right, we're just doing the Cody, the stinky powder, but the good powder. I just put some in the cap and get it absolutely everywhere. Put some in the cap. Swirl, swirl, tap, tap. And we're gonna get rid of all the bake. I'm going to use the Perfusion Blush Palette. Six Blush Palette. And that's what that looks like. And they have names and I think I'm gonna take a mixture of the Bashful and the Playful. And see what that looks like. Wow, that's some pigmentation. Now I think we have one more thing to play with, which is lips. This is a the Elf Primer Plumper. It has the plumper on one side and the primer on the other. I like this. It doesn't really plump, but I find that my lipsticks. last a little longer when I use it and I especially like it when I'm using mattes I'm not crazy about a matte lip I will take a whole matte face but and this was the only one that they had um, I think they had a darker one but you know me and nudes I like I like a good nude lip oh that's pretty it looks like it has two colors I can get my show you and A lip liner right there this one's called matte nude so what do you think guys not bad oh we have highlight did we put highlight on no, we didn't put on. Did I put highlight on? I don't think I did. I think I swatched them on my hand to try to figure out which one I'm going to do. And I like a light but bright highlight, if that makes any sense. So I'm going into this one right here in the middle. It's kind of a white, light pink color. Try not to go overboard with highlight. Love it. If you hear a noise, I think my dogs just look up and they want to go outside, which means they're going to start barking. But we're almost done. Little boogers kept me up again last night. I don't know what's going on with them. I know last night might have been kind of weird because. The electricity didn't come back on until like 1.30, somewhere around there. When the electricity came back on, all the lights and stuff came on and woke them up. Milani, make it last. This is their look for today. Tell me what you think. I kind of like this try on haul where... I get to try all new products and let you know what I think of them. So that gives me an excuse to go <laughs> shopping so I can get more products. As always, thank you for spending just a little time with me today. And I hope you have a happy, blessed day. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.